I think it's safe to say that 2020 hasn't been a great year. It feels like very little has been in our control and we've been bombarded by constant notifications and updates about why the world is going to hell. Given everything that has happened so far this year, I needed a break from the insanity to clear my head, focus on my priorities and what matters to me in life. In my mind, there's no better place to do this than 3,000 miles from home in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on the island of Maui. Going to Maui during COVID-19 was an unreal experience. Over the last few months, I've been restricted to my home in Seattle. Like many, I've been dreaming of traveling to a tropical destination with crystal clear blue water, white sand beaches, and taking a break from the craziness and constant doom scrolling that we've all been dealing with. It was also an unreal experience because it was a chance to see Maui in a way that I will likely never see again in my lifetime. We were among some of the first tourists to visit the island since the beginning of the pandemic. And when we arrived, we found that many of the beaches like Kanapali, Slaughterhouse, Esterns, and Big Beach were empty. To be honest, it felt like we were on our own private island. It also meant we were able to see different parts of the island that we would normally skip if we weren't going through a pandemic. This included the West Maui Highway, the Wahi Ridge Trail, and the road to Hana. The West Maui Highway is a treacherous single lane road that circles the west side of the island, but don't let that deter you. This side of the island has some stunning sights that are definitely worth checking out. My favorite part of the West Maui Highway was the Nikali Blah Hole. It only takes a few minutes to get to, and it's worth checking out before you take on some of the more challenging portions of the highway. We also checked out the Wahi Ridge Trail, but be prepared. This was a 2.5 mile hike with nearly 1,500 feet of vertical, but it is definitely worth it in the end. It was stunning to see massive valleys with walls that seemed to go straight up for 1,000 feet. But the most epic part of the trip was the road to Hana, a 65 mile highway with a mind boggling 610 corners. The road to Hana is a full day ordeal and it is impossible to see everything. But some of the stops worth checking out include the Twin Falls, the Garden of Eden, and the Upper Wakani Falls. If you're looking to see more during your drive, you can stay overnight in Hana and do the trip in two days. We did this and it gave us the opportunity to drive around the southeast side of the island and see the Venus Ponds, the Seven Sacred Pools, and the bamboo forest of Wohakala National Park, which was truly incredible. At times during our second day of driving, it was hard to believe that we were still on Maui and not on some desert island far away from civilized things like Wi-Fi and cell reception. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. This trip was unreal. It is easy to be hypnotized by the beauty of a place like this. Every day we were surrounded by stunning views that you would find all over Instagram. It was extremely easy to live in the moment and be captivated by everything around us. Every day was a new adventure, more exciting than the last one. To be honest, I wish I could have stayed on Maui and continued to sit on the beach and forget about the challenges that I've faced this year.